Hi everyone, it's Isabella here and welcome back to the channel. So today's video, as you guys can tell, we're gonna be diving into a brand new topic that I haven't covered yet that I'm so excited. Today, we are gonna be covering a company that many of you guys have been asking me to cover, which is Pink Zebra. So if you guys do or don't know, I cover so many different scams and mythical companies, deep dives, lawsuits, literally anything that's just problematic, we are gonna be covering here on this channel. Here's the dealio, okay? Some of you might want to see this because you're wondering if this is a good business opportunity or some of y'all are my regular viewers who literally just love learning about a new company. Either way, I'm really excited to dive into this. So real quickly though, I am gonna wanna kinda give you guys a little bit of a, a personal catch up and one-to-one. -one. If you don't care at all, jump to the next timestamp, please. For those of you who are watching right now. Okay, so first of all, a couple things I wanna say. My setup is wildly different right now. I am in the process of moving right now. It has been, wow, it has been so overwhelming and peace and love, but it literally pisses me off fiercely when my setup is not aesthetically pleasing and beautiful. So I apologize because this is rough. This is not it. However, please stay tuned because when I'm moving, I am essentially creating a set. I'm getting brand new equipment. We're getting a new mic. I'm reinvesting into new lighting. Like we are, girl, when I tell you I'm going all out, I'm going all out, okay? And I just want to say real quickly, even though this looks like shit right now, <laughs> Seriously, thank you so much because I would not be able to do any of this without you. And I am so excited to bring to you with this fall season coming some new, extremely, very fascinating deep dives, some really cool sets and just overall perfecting and fine tuning things and making everything visually appealing, but also just super interesting to listen to and also really interesting to watch because I'm also trying to improve at my editing. So again, thank you so much because like your guys' support, liking, commenting, sharing is has allowed me to do this and has allowed me to reinvest in my channel and we're bumping up the quality my loves we are bumping up the quality second of all i also want to do a little bit of a psa because i think this is super important so i'm currently wearing headphones right now and i want to actually kind of quickly mention why i'm wearing that so if you guys do or don't know i've been really open about this and i do talk about this on many of my other platforms i'm someone that struggles with depression and anxiety i know right it sucks it's not fun and with everything with moving and so much happening i've been so like overwhelmed and i have this thing and maybe y'all can relate okay and you guys know i'm exceptionally real on here but i'm someone that like I, after a certain amount of time, I'll get overstimulated and <laughs> this sounds so silly. Sounds hurt, I don't understand that. So if there's too much loud noise going on, I get like sick and my body hurts. And so with moving, I've been kind of like more anxious and so so much has been happening. I can't wait to talk to you guys about it, but, but I need to get some work done. So I have noise canceling headphones on right now. So I really like, I'm hearing a muffled version of myself right now, but it's helping me work. So for those of you maybe who are like overstimulated parents or people in general, putting on noise canceling headphones so that way you can like function do things but like muffling the sound so your body doesn't hurt if you struggle with that with me does wonders and also there's no shame with struggling with anxiety depression get help take care of yourself you're doing good okay now let's get into this all right because i have a lot of stuff that i need to talk about hi everyone i want to hop on here and talk about something that has been so ridiculously helpful for me recently so i am going to be moving here soon so i'm also about safety when it comes to the new place that i'm moving but i'm also really adamant about my safety on the internet so for example i do don't want my address to be leaked on the internet. And then additionally, I don't want my personal data being leaked on the internet. There's so many amazing things about surfing the world wide web, but there's also times where some things can just be, you know, not the best. Data brokers will sell your information to robocallers, telemarketers, and so much more. And that's why it's out there. And me personally, I want to have my internet access as fun and safe as possible and just feeling overall secure. And with that, I want to be able to tell you guys about a platform that covers it all and so much more. Let's talk about Aura. If you guys do or don't know, Aura is an incredible safety program that allows you to monitor and keep track of so many things to protect you from crazy problems that you might not even know exist. For example, I'm able to monitor and make sure that my personal address is not out there for everyone to see and I can get a takedown if some website somehow gets it. Another really fun feature that I love is the credit monitoring and identity theft protection. I'm trying to make sure my credit score is good and I'm also trying to make sure that someone doesn't try and snatch my identity to mess up said credit score. Additionally, Aura has an app as well that covers tons of other incredible features such as parental controls, a VPN, searches to make sure none of your emails or passwords are leaked, identity theft, credit check, and so much more. They have all these amazing services on one platform to make it easy for you. And right now, Aura is offering a really great opportunity for all of my viewers right now. So if you guys wanna go and see what kind of information Aura might find out about you and protect your data more, you guys can go scan the QR code on the screen right now or go to aura.com slash lantern and start your 14 free day trial to check it all out. Or 
Aura has been an incredible platform for myself and many others, and I highly recommend it. Thank you so much to Aura for sponsoring today's video, and now let's get into it. So with this, of course, we're gonna be kicking off what is Pink Zebra. So Pink Zebra is a multi-level marketing company that's actually quite similar to Sensi. So we actually covered Sensi on a previous deep dive, which I'll have pop up over here, where it's pretty much essentially a fragrance MLM. So they have it to where they have wax melts, candles, they have anything to scent your entire house. Pink Zebra is kind of expanded a little bit further though than I believe Sensi has with other products as well. Sensi's really, really known for some of their like wax melts. And I think Pink Zebra has more of like beads, which I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be honest, they look fun, all right? I would pick a bunch of cute little beads faster than I would a brick of wax. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, it's cute, all right? So Pink Zebra was actually founded in 2011. So it's been around for a good long while. And again, like I've said, they've been known for having tons of different products and fragrance based things. So they've been around for a really good long time and they were a multi-level marketing company. And they market off the opportunity and the business as a whole in two different ways. So they talk about having affordable fragrances and just overall really good fragrances for your house, which trust me, I, oh my God, I'm obsessed with a good candle, all right? Like I love that stuff. And then additionally, they also have the business side where they market off that you can start an online business. You guys can start and selling products, making money. And this is of course really enticing for many people who are looking at side hustles, which is a very sad reality for many people, especially in the United States right now. So real quickly though, for all of my people who don't know, okay, I always have to do this because I have people that come onto my channel that have no clue about why I don't like MLMs or multi-level marketing companies. Why are they a problem? Why are they so dangerous? And why should I avoid them? All of my regular viewers, you guys know the drill with this. So you can skip over to the next timestamp, but for everyone else over here, then let, let's scooch in, all right? We're gonna talk about why MLMs just suck, okay? So according to the FTC, multi-level marketing companies have a 99.6% failure rate, and that is exceptionally high. Now, what I will say is many companies have varying failure rates. Now this is, the failure rate is essentially people that are losing money or make no money at all. And what's really sad about this is majority of participants in multi-level marketing companies lose money. So that's a really, really sad reality. Now this is data that is replicated across the board with majority of MLMs. Some of them may have a little bit of a difference with maybe 80% of people losing or making no money. However, majority of the time, the data is most people participating in these companies, even if they invest, even if they work really, really hard and put tons of effort in, you are not really expecting to make a lot of income. So right from the gates, the data is already showing you that this is not a good opportunity to begin with. But it's so sad to me because there's many people who are enticed to join these because they're convinced that this is an easy and accessible way to make a side income. Now, again, I am all for side hustles and incomes. I think that's amazing. And there's tons of videos out there of really good ideas, but multi-level marketing is not a way to earn really good money. And additionally, some of them have fallen into, and many companies I've covered have fallen into the category of being a pyramid scheme, which is another thing I want to talk about because I think we need to be, you know, honest and transparent about the definition of a pyramid scheme. Now, many people who are part of MLMs will respond with rebuttal of, oh, we can't be a pyramid scheme because pyramid schemes are illegal. Now, this is something that I wouldn't really get out of the way and make it very clear. There are many, many companies that do things that are messed up and they have not been cut, okay? That doesn't mean that they're not doing something problematic or messy, okay? And the two ways that you can become and categorize as a pyramid scheme is if it's a no product-based pyramid scheme. So if I joined a company and I'm promised income and whatever, and I have no products, then that, that could be, you know, a pyramid scheme, Ponzi scheme, you know, that kind of stuff. Whereas another way that you can become a pyramid scheme is if you actually join a company and the majority of the income that the company makes is through recruiting and not actual retail sales and just selling in general. And that's what's really sad is there's many companies that I've covered who have literally fallen under that second category of they are technically an MLM. However, the way that they're running things are falling into the pyramid scheme category, which is a big old problem, okay? It's not a good opportunity in any capacity if the data is already against you from the get-go when you buy that starter kit. So that's literally why I have such a huge problem with multi-level marketing companies and why I don't like them at all because the data is showing that they are not gonna benefit you in any way. Now, of course, keep this data in mind, and this is why I preface these videos with this type of data, so that way you keep that in mind as we go through and look at the company's specific data and other ways that they promote it, okay? So now let's get into the products. So scrolling 
through if you guys check out on the website. You guys can see that they have tons of different products over here. And I always like talking about the products because it's a great way for me to kind of differentiate if it is a possible sellable product, if it's a good product, like if I think it's bullshit, because honestly, this could work for two different types of people that are viewing this channel. It could be for people who are interested in purchasing the product and that's it. And this could also be helpful for people who are interested in selling, because if you want to sell a product, you want it to be sellable and good. And if you want to buy a product, you want to see if there's any other better opportunities out there. Now there is a candle company that I really love. It's called a DW Home. And personally, I've like purchased a ton from them, love them. I think they're great. And there's many other fragrance companies out there that offer really, really good and affordable fragrances that are ranging from wax melts, candles, you name it. So for me, from seeing this, I think the pricing is actually pretty good. I will say that. However, I don't think it's like exclusive, right? And peace and love for me, full transparency. I'm a woman that likes aesthetically pleasing shit. I like my pretty adorable candles. Okay. And so I, and this is just me. I don't want mid 2000s neon designs. Okay. That might be for you, but for me personally, I don't want that. Okay. And so if you want a variety of all these cute things and more, I recommend DW home because I just don't think that it's worth buying from this company. I think they have a big old variety. Absolutely. I think their pricing is really good. I will hundred percent say that, but when it comes to like exclusivity and being worth your time, I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend going to an actual like good business, you know, that's like paying their employees <laughs> instead of allegedly mooching off of the free work and advertising of consultants and promoters. Anyways, when it actually comes to the side of being the quote unquote business owner, if you join and become a consultant, I personally don't think it is something that would work really well. This is actually a point that I made when it comes to Sensi. Well, yes, the products in Sensi and Pink Zebra are both priced really well. It's kind of difficult for people to want to purchase something directly from you that is from an MLM and you might have to do a lot more parties with something that is scent based. When it comes to a product, Product, it is easier for someone to want to purchase a product if there is something that's differentiating it or making it really interesting, right? Like for me, I would much rather try a product that I haven't like smelled the scent of the candle before if it has a lot of other factors that I like, like maybe pricing and if it looks and fits into my style and aesthetic of home decor. Now, when it comes to Pink Zebra, they have kind of an all over the place design and I feel like that's kind of aging out in a way. And so I don't believe that they're staying with the times and trends currently and what a big demographic of people are wanting when it comes to products like this. So I don't think it's going to work that well when it comes to virtual selling. However, it might do better when it comes to parties. The problem is, is if we actually think about that time investment, when you host parties for companies and MLMs in general, that's a lot of time. That's a lot of effort. You have to get people there. You have to try and convince people to buy your product essentially. And that also is going to involve samples and things like that, which is going to cost you a decent amount of money. And again, that's why I mentioned previously how most people make no money, because if you're thinking about the investment and cost it would take to join this company, Company, and then to consistently host parties, that's going to be a lot of time and money that's going to go down the drain essentially for you. And I just don't think that that's worth it. I'm just being real here. I don't know if the products just suck when it comes to the scent. I have no idea. They probably are good. They probably have access to, you know, some pretty simple distributors. But what I'm saying is I don't think it is worth it to sell. And I especially don't think it's worth it to buy. There are tons of other companies out there and peace and love, but I would so much rather buy from a small business than this because it's coming from an actual small business, mind you. So now that we've looked at the products and we see what they have to offer, let's look at how to actually join the business opportunity. Now, this is where it gets very interesting because I like to show how they're marketing off the opportunity to you. So a lot of really very consistent patterns that I see when it comes to this is they talk about like family and changing lives, extra income. There was actually even a part of the website that really rubbed me wrong. And they were talking about helping a single mother, which is in my opinion, complete false advertising because that's not a realistic depiction of the company. But I digress. There's a lot of promotions about the company that are honestly really unrealistic to me and are, in my opinion, false advertising because it's not coming out right and saying, hey, look, this is what's available and here is the chance of making money. So I feel like this is a very easy way for people to get sucked in. But let's actually look at the price of how to join the MLM. So when we look at the spring 2023 online sellers kit, it does show that it's a US retail value for $299.45. Now they claim that this is for you if you want to run an online virtual business through social selling and sharing our frequent subscription plans with others. It includes everything you need to share frequency
fragrances and accessories with others. So this kit includes a decent amount, I would say, but it's around $100 for you to purchase. So again, $100 is a decent amount for some people. This is the next one that is actually a $479.50 retail value is what they're claiming. So again, this one has a ton of different product, but it is $129. So it's not a horrible price, but it's still, again, it's pretty damn pricey. And then of course we have the deluxe kit that is retail value for $580.50. However, you only pay $200. What a deal. <laughs> Looking at it though, that is a pretty hefty start to actually get involved. Now, additionally, if you want to buy uh, more sample packs and this, this, this is where they get you. This is what I was talking about with samples and parties and how this is gonna rack up money for you. This is a sprinkle sampler, which is a spring and summer 2023 26 pack. And so it has tons of different little scents that you can give to people as samples, which is $44 and 20 cents. So again, like if you are to buy this and get some additional samples, this is going to be a decent amount of money for you. So if you were to buy the lowest starter kit and then additionally the sprinkles sampler, which is around $44 ish, you're yeah dropping almost like $145 bare minimum to get started with this. And that's not including replenishing samples or whatever else you need to buy for your own stash because of marketing purposes, right? So this is already looking very expensive. Of course, they have another way that they can get you as well, where they do have their club pink, which is a way to pretty much get free shipping and get a monthly subscription of your products, which is a really big problem when it comes to the multi-level marketing world, because it's honestly okay to have subscriptions, right? I have subscriptions. There's things that I buy that I get monthly delivered to me. Love it. I'm not against subscriptions. I'm against how this is literally leading to an overstock of inventory for what I'm seeing. This is marketed off as a business opportunity and I just hate the subscription stuff because the amount of money that people are going to dump into this to have the starter kits, getting samples, and then subscriptions to keep up with more deliveries, it's gonna rack up really quickly. And it's marketed off as a more affordable way of doing it now and scheduling it now when you start. So that way it's not as expensive if you did it like three months into your business journey, okay? This is just going to be a lot of money for people. As I'm scrolling through though, in order to get started with this, there is a bit of a disclaimer, but there is no, let's show the income disclosure statement or compensation plan, which is a huge problem when it comes to these MLMs is they're not showing you the chances that you have of making money before joining. Now, this is when we're diving into the income disclosure statement. So if you guys do or don't know what an income disclosure statement is, that is essentially a way for a company, a multi-level marketing company to say, this is how much money people are making in the company now. And this is possible. Now that doesn't mean it's going to happen for you, but it's possible. Now here's a big red flag that everyone should pay attention to when it comes to MLMs in general. If you're good, I can't stop you from doing everything. But if you're going to look at an MLM, if they're not transparent about their income, no, that's a problem. I know they're not legally obligated to, but if they're not going to be real and raw and say, this is it and show it all, then to me, in my opinion, they're just hiding the numbers and data from you. And that's a big problem. So I did find an old income disclosure statement. I was scouring the internet trying to find one because they don't actually have a public one. I think it's only accessible when you join the company, which is bullshit, might I add. So I'm going to go through some of the for you to kind of walk you through what it looks like to give an idea. Now, this is old. Just a heads up. This is old. OK, this is an old one, but this still is good to show of what it especially used to be. So this is an average consultant earning from 2015. It shows that consultant when you first joined the company is eight hundred and forty two dollars for the year. The next one is two thousand four hundred sixty four. The next rank is six thousand five hundred eighty nine. The one after is thirty three thousand. 261 and so on and so forth. So this was in 2015. Okay. Keep this in mind. This is not as detailed as I would like it to be. When I usually look at an income disclosure statement, I will show you an example of one. It has so much more details for me to dive into and specific data and numbers. So if we look at the FTC disclaimers about how majority of people make no money. Okay. Keep that in mind. If we go and compare majority of other MLM income disclosure statements and how majority of them replicate that same data, we can logically assume that that data and numbers will be replicated. So majority of people that are in this company are probably going to make only $842 a year. Now, again, this is not updated. This could be higher. This could be lower. But logically speaking, let's think you start the company. OK, and let's think that you get involved with this. $842 does not include taxes. It doesn't include the starter kit. It doesn't include samples that you have to buy. It doesn't include the monthly amount that you have to spend on the website. So that money will drop significantly. If you had to drop maybe $200 to get involved with this company, 
money, that goes bye-bye. Remove taxes, that goes bye-bye. Remove anything else that you need to get started. Maybe like, for example, let's say you wanna buy inventory and you need to have bins to store it. Maybe you need some other things to help run your quote unquote business, right? Like this costs money. So looking at 842, well, that doesn't sound horrible. That's not really a good about either way. And additionally, I would like to say is you're working all year for only $842 and all of this income is rare. So you're probably not gonna even make that if anything. Now, logically speaking, you would really have a better opportunity at getting another side job that is part-time that would actually pay you every single hour, okay? Now, don't get me wrong. There's some aspects of corporate America that are horrific and we need to talk about the two. What I'm saying is this is not a side hustle opportunity I would recommend, period. And that is a shitty number. Like, that is so bad. Now, I know there's people that are gonna be in the company that are like, okay, but look at the possibilities. Look at the possibilities. And I'm all for looking at possibilities of everything. However, this is not a realistic possibility. We're forgetting that even though there is someone that has maybe made $210,000 in this company, how many people in the company made it and how many people lost money. You see what I'm saying? It's a very low, almost no percent chance of getting up there, okay? Now, here's where we get real interesting because I wanna dive into the compensation plan. So the compensation plan is where you figure out how you make your money, how does it work, where is the money coming from, and how do you grow and succeed in the company? And this gives us a really good idea and feel of how the company works and how you earn the income and if it's, you know, pyramid scheme Now, here's the deal. One big old disclaimer I want to say, and again, have us keep in mind, pay attention to if majority of the ways of earning money are dependent on a downline. If you can't succeed and grow strictly with just sales and selling the product and that's it, that should be a huge red flag for you. And what's a really sad reality is majority of companies I come across, most people cannot grow like literally physically, the ranks do not allow them and the qualifications won't let them grow the company unless they have a downline. So again, I scoured the internet, I was digging, I was fighting to find a damn compensation plan, found one, it's a 2017 one. Again, if anyone has any updated ones, please send it my way because I would love to put them in the description below for the most up-to-date accurate information as possible. Because again, I'm, I'm real, I'm not trying to with data. Okay, this is a consultant policies and career plan. So right out the gates, one thing I want to say that, oh, pissed me off. Career plan, please. I do not like it when companies are not honest and transparent. When a company tries to use specific buzzwords or phrases to get you to think that this is an attainable and possible long-term opportunity, that is false. That literally goes against what the FTC says. And that is just like, there is no evidence or data to back this up. So that is a, that's not true. Okay. So first of all, I don't like the term career career plan, the very top, it says build long-term benefits for the pink zebra professional. No, again, that's completely bullshit and false. Now it looks like some of this was cut off and it's page 28. So again, I don't have the full document of this. Like, I am so sorry. Okay. I'm doing my best here. They talk about marketing phrases. So we're kind of kicking off with how they discuss pink zebra and the compensation plan as a whole. So it says that there are six different ways to generate revenue as a consultant for pink zebra. And it is possible to participate in one or all of these profit centers. The following is a general list of the ways to earn revenue based on our plan. So the selling phase is you have a minimum base commission that you make of 25% on retained from party sales. So 25% of whatever you sell, which is not horrible. They have an enhanced personal commission. So you get an additional five to 10% commissions from management phase. So now this is this is where things get interesting. You have 7% for sponsoring bonuses, 3% for team level bonuses, and 2% mentoring bonuses. And then executive phase is when three levels of generational bonuses total 7%. So you see how they said that there are six ways of earning income and bonuses. The first one was just regular sales. You have 7% for sponsoring bonuses, 3% for team level bonuses, and 2% mentoring bonuses. And then executive phase is when three levels of generational bonuses total 7%. So you see how they said that there are six ways of earning income and bonuses, four out of the six involve recruiting and having a team. That should be the biggest red flag waving at you, okay? It should be a red screen at this point. So real quickly, I'm gonna kind of skim through each bonus to kind of walk you through like the fine details of this because this is important. So the first one talking about sales and how you can actually make commission off of sales. First of all, I wanna say it is technically according to the compensation plan for what I can see, it's more appealing and your chances of making money appear higher and you can grow the ranks faster if you get a downline. Whereas by selling, it literally looks like it's not gonna be that good of an opportunity. So 
So sales volume, you need to at least sell zero to 899 PS in order to get 25% commission. However, that commission goes up when you start selling 100 to getting close to $2,000. Then $2,000 and up is when you get 35%. This is where I have a serious problem. Now, the rest of them though, as we go through, you guys can see with this document, which I'll have in the description below, by the way, a majority of these bonuses are based off of getting people onto a team, which again is like, no, don't do that. Like that is not good in any way, shape or form. Logically speaking, if majority of your ways of income are based off of a downline, that can disappear very quickly. Actually, in fact, there is a show that I watch on Netflix. I'll pop it up over here. I'm forgetting the name right now. But anyways, it was a show about this man that goes in and talks about couples financial situations. And there was a specific couple that had a woman that was involved in multi-level marketing. She hit the highest, one of the really high ranks of the company one time. The rest, she was losing so many people. She was losing her income severely because people were leaving the MLM and leaving her team. And that is something we see all of the time. So even if you're like, oh, I'm going to recruit people and it's going to be great and they're going to sell a lot and I'm going to benefit from that, people will hop out very quickly. Also, I would like to say it's a really big thing for people to leave, especially because the knowledge and understanding of MLMs, I truly believe is expanding. So people are understanding the problems and the data behind it. And they're realizing that it's not the, it's not them that's the problem. It's the MLM that's a problem. So depending on a bunch of other human beings to keep your income going and keep them recruiting is not reliable and not smart to say the least at all all. It's not a good opportunity to begin with, but if your main money maker is to encourage people to join the same system as you and they can literally lose money and leave as well, your entire system would crumble and you could literally go from a high rank of making good money to all of a sudden making hardly anything and struggling to get by, which is not okay, period. For mentoring bonuses, again, this is something that's really fascinating because if you want to be a consultant, which is the lower level, in order to qualify for and maintain leadership bonuses, you need to have a minimum sales volume of 400 per month, which, okay, that, that's that's fine. That's reasonable. But you have to personally sponsor at least one active consultant in a separate team in level one. No matter what, throughout these ranks, there's so many requirements to have a team, have recruitment, keep people involved, which is completely bullshit to me. And literally, if you simply scroll through all of this, you could keep seeing how so many of these qualifications are requiring you to have some people on your team. And if that is your only way of being successful, don't do that. Like again, literally, if you want to sell products, for example, do affiliate marketing. Do not do this shit. Okay. This is like highly unreasonable and not necessary. Now, one last thing I want to talk about that is very fascinating is their 60 and 40% rule. Now, additionally, another thing that I want to talk about is just this company. And from what I perceive is just shady overall, the amount of people that I have seen that have come out from having horrible experiences, terrible leadership, and so much more further brainwashing and just toxic perspectives, like toxic positivity, trying to keep you inside of a system, trying to treat you as family, but only caring about you as family. If you benefit them is just totally messy. Overall, what I think is, I don't think the products are unique enough to go purchase. And I don't think they're especially unique enough to join. I think the income chances are significantly low. And I think that this is a company that's not really staying with the time. So it's not modern. It's not developing. It's not paying attention to its modern demographic. And that's a problem. And then additionally, the ways of earning income to me are very based on recruiting people. And I think that's a huge problem in itself. And overall, I think this is literally a peace and love, but a shit show waiting to happen and a complete waste of your money. Like, honestly, you'd rather buy a ton of balloons and send them off into the air. You know, in the malls when they have one of those tornado machines and they're like a bunch of tickets or something and you can like try and grab them. I'd rather spend money on some shit like that than one of these MLMs, okay? So that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful day. Peace and love. Again, sorry for the shitty setup and stay tuned for like probably mid-August and it's gonna be better. All right, so I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye.